Hey, welcome back. One of the things I've been trying to do is to really guard my morning. And a lot of authors have written about what you do with the first hour of your day. And it's one of the things that I really want to focus on this year, how I use the first 60 minutes or so of my day. And so 5am Club by Robin Sharma is a book we read a couple of years ago uh, in our network of, um, of professionals who are ready to rise as we lift each other. And I want to talk about something he says that really makes a difference for all professionals and for entrepreneurs. And today I dedicate this to entrepreneurs because I find that as an entrepreneur, everybody is pulling at you, is pulling for a piece of you, your thoughts, your ideas, your, you know, your vision. And so it's very easy for entrepreneurs to get burnt out. I know it's a word that people are throwing around. Uh, and sometimes you get into entrepreneurship thinking that you're going to actually get free. <laughs> and then it's like you're trapped because you have not built systems around yourself, your team, your business, so as to give you what I call the intellectual freedom to think, to visualize, to reflect, to recalibrate. And so one of the ways that I would encourage us to think about is what um, Robin Sharma calls the 2020 formula. And, and let's talk a little bit about how you deconstruct this. So first and foremost, the 5AN Club is about it's a really good book because it's written in in a way that has fiction but also has research so he's he's brilliant in terms of how he has actually written this book and the tagline is own your morning elevate your life mm? own your morning elevate your life and so in this 2020 formula he talks about three things you need to ask yourself how can i spend the first 20 minutes the next 20 minutes and the third set of 20 minutes to add up to 60 minutes, which is one hour. And he encourages you wake up at five or wake up just before five, whether it's 4.30, 4, 5, it's up to you. But the goal is to rise up early, go to bed early, rise up early, and you will see the difference. So there are three pockets, if you may call them so. And the first pocket he encourages is move. Yeah. And so what do you need to do? So let's say it's 5 a.m. to 5.20. Exercise, yeah? Move, move, hmm? exercise. And so what does that mean? In terms of what can you do? You can do intense exercise. You should stretch. Make sure you sweat. You raise your heartbeat. I mean, be guided by your doctor or, you know, your, your health coach. Uh, but the goal here is to breathe deeply, to move to hydrate and to stretch and to kind of work up a sweat. Mm? So that's the what. Why do you need to do this? And I think this is the part that a lot of us forget. So why do we need to move? First and foremost, dopamine rises. So many of us are getting dopamine because of likes and you know comments on social media. It's so fleeting. How about you create your own dopamine just by moving? So dopamine rises, serotonin rises, which also helps you actually be calmer. Metabolism elevates, um, and then you find that it cleanses your cortisol. The cortisol is that uh, hormone that is created because of stressful situations. That's the why, and I think those are such good reasons, not to mention the good mood you have for conquering yourself first thing in the day. And then the benefits is that you have more focus, you're more productive, you're clearer, there's no brain fog, your brain is optimized, and then energy grows, less stress, and as a result, you actually have longevity in terms of life. So your life may be longer, but not just longer painfully, but longer in a way that your body continues to serve you. So that's the first pocket, move, move that body, you know? And the second one, the second pocket is reflect, reflect. I think here you can also replace reflect with mental prayer, meditate, pray. And, and, and what is that? What is it that you do in this second uh, docket of 20 minutes? You can journal, you can meditate, you can pray, you can plan, you can contemplate. I love that word. I love the action also. Contemplating, especially if you can contemplate God. And you can use a book, um, you can use a Bible, you can use, you know, uh, a spiritual book that actually helps you 
start your day on an elevated spiritual level. And why is this important? First, it connects you to God. Gratitude is boosted. Awareness soars. Because I find that when I then put those 20, 30 minutes there, then my happiness lifts. The thing that was stressing me or weighing me down, I now see it in a different light. Wisdom develops. And as a result, your ability and a personal accountability to move forward, no matter what your circumstances. And so what are some benefits? Your greater positivity increased. Uh, re you actually don't react. You respond. Higher creativity, stronger performance, and a richer life. And richer doesn't only mean dollars. It also means the richness of how you embrace your life, how you look at life, and how you navigate the challenges of life. So I continue to read um, extracts from Robin Sharma's. And, and, you know, when it comes to this um, second pocket, it's one of the things that I have been able to do consistently. And it's, it's, it has such an impact. To spend 20 minutes, you can choose to do 30. You can, it's up to you. He, he guides 20, 20, 20. But it's not, you know, stuck in, in stone. And so you can actually choose how much longer you want to pray and reflect and meditate. And I find that these two steps already move and then reflect are so powerful in terms of how you face the day. And the third pocket is grow. I love this. This has to do with how you review your goals, looking at your vision board, you know. I look at my vision board and I look at last year's vision board and the things I put there you know, um, to graduate, to take the conference to a global en environment, to partner with another global speaker. We partnered with Vusi to, you know, to go to Harvard. I mean, I'm looking at my vision board and I'm like, oh my goodness. Um, you review your goals and when you review your goals, you start to fight the distractions. And, and you know, you really fight the distractions and starve those distractions and feed your focus, feed your goals, feed your vision. And so you can consume audiobooks, you can listen to podcasts, you can study online. I'm excited. I see some of our learners and leaders who are doing the Rise Masterclass. It's a 12-week online program. And some of them say, Dr. Pat, we wake up, we exercise, we pray and reflect, and then the grow is the module that you're taking us through. And Thank you very much for honoring yourself and for honoring us by really owning your growth. And so the what can be a combination of those, those um, aspects. But why do you need to do this? Because you find that your mindset grows exponentially. Hmm? Your knowledge deepens. Your conversation cannot be just about YouTube shorts, Twitter messages, 140, degree, 140 characters. It's got to be deeper than that. Otherwise, we risk being very superficial in the way we live our lives. Acumen escalates, confidence accelerates, and you actually start to lead change and master it rather than just changing because you're being pushed in a certain direction. What are some benefits that you can think about that he actually encourages us to consider when it comes to the growth pocket? Better income, better impact, because you actually start your day with that mindset of, I know how I'm going to deliver today. I'm not going to be distracted. I will deliver on my commitments at work, at home. You actually become a craft, master craftsman. And that just elevates. Mm -hmm. And then you find that you actually are very clear about what it is you're good at, how to collaborate with others. Your personal growth actually elevates and your inspiration to do higher level things. Um, increases so I want to encourage you to ask yourself how can you exercise what Robin Sharma is telling us in the 2020 20 formula of how to spend the first 60 minutes of your day let me encourage you not to wake up and touch your phone and check the feed on Instagram hmm? even if it is high school don't do that first thing in the day or to go into a YouTube channel. I certainly hope you've subscribed and say, let me see what Dr. Pat is saying. Thank you for wanting to do that. But don't do that the first 60 minutes unless you're using this video for the grow pocket, you know, where by watching it, you're then internalizing certain things. Because the minute you get into social media, your brain starts to frazzle. 
you don't then have the clarity of mind to think clearly about the things you need to do in the day ahead. And God has granted us the gift of another day. Don't waste it, angry, irritated, uh, lacking responsibility, or personal responsibility, blaming everyone, because the first thing you watched and you heard was actually very negative. I want to encourage you, 2024 is your leap year. Leap forward. You can see my commitment is to ensure that you get a weekly podcast, whether you will watch this on our YouTube channel or listen to this on our podcast channels uh, like Spotify. My goal is to really accompany you every week. And sometimes you might get the benefit of a little more in a week so that you can truly rise. Break through those chains of comfort laziness that are chaining you to your bed or chaining you to a screen and choose to break through and rise by elevating the way you lead yourself in the morning. Remember that leadership is on three levels. You first lead yourself, then you lead others, and eventually you can lead organizations, businesses, and sectors. Don't forget it's inside out. Elevate your morning. Choose wisely how to spend your 20, 20, 20 and make a difference to how you face the day and how you solve the problems. Who knows what kind of impact that can have beyond generations. Thank you.